Welcome to another video of Door Kickers 2, where we're trying to use our real world SWAT training to take down these missions. So this is a Steam Workshop mission, it's called Fate, um, we're just trying to eliminate all the terrorists. So we do have the going in blind mod, so we don't know what is going on in this building until we actually see it with our own eyes, but we'll go ahead and get started. So we will take everyone off of silent mode. Um, looks like we've got some sort of oh, just looks like some sort of house. So we can see through this window immediately. Uh, we've also got one guy up here. Looks like we've been in some sort of vehicle wreck of some sort. So we're immediately taking fire as soon as we came around those corners. So. This guy is just shooting through that window, blind fire. Um, so for right now, we're just going to keep these guys like this. He's got a good view into this window. And uh, all right, we finally got that machine gunner down. Now we'll start moving in with the rest of our guys. So we've got some drapes here, um, but it looks like we're going to need to push up into this area so we're gonna have him holding our cover while we push all of these guys up all right and now we will have him collapse up here so he has a little bit of cover okay next we need to position ourselves for this breach so we will bring him up and we're gonna set a uh, explosive charge there that will make sure everyone's backed up a little bit and we'll go to charge all right so as that happened we got the window now available with Taking out these two dudes on the inside, we're going to throw a flashbang in here. So this is not a good position to be in. Um, what I'm actually going to do is try and bring him around to get him into the fight as well. hoping he'd be able to see this machine gunner from this angle. Alright, there we go. So we will hold him here. He was able to clear out everybody as he came to that window, so that was quite a clutch. So now we can go ahead and make entry into this structure. So we will push these guys inside. carnage right now all right so this brings up a good point right here as you can see this guy close to the door you can't really see very far in but the farther off you come from the door the farther into this structure you can see so we're gonna try and pie from as far outside as we can um, to get a little view into this room so we will keep pushing across check in the center of the room so we've got a nice clear area here this is a center fit room so we've got a couple of options here what I would like to do is toss a flash in with this guy and then we will push in I'm gonna have him push straight across and him come over here so we'll push him in him around very well so we have a graded door here we'll pause here and let everyone get into a good position okay he's covering this window now so we'll go ahead and start moving with these gentlemen Right, and 
No, we just have... Okay, well, that door just opened. I'm going to... I'm actually going to throw some gas in here to get them to run out to us since we've got two guns pointed at the door. guy begin to push in the exterior to help clear that room. Alright. So we can see quite a few people now. He is gonna not be able to get over those barricades there, but what we can do is we can get a flashbang in. Flash out. And then we can start to move in. Right. I'm going to have him join the party. This should be, we should be able to clear this fairly easily with just three people that are left. Get one more flash in here. Flash out. And we're going to pie this deep outside and that should be everyone there we go all right we will watch that one back so we went ahead and placed two up on the top side just to see what we'd be able to get into from up there uh, they immediately took contact and we were hoping that he was going to be able to take this guy out. Probably should have gone ahead and started moving these guys down here into the fight a little bit quicker. Um, but he finally ended up taking him out. We are a little uh, tunnel visioned up here. So let that be a reminder that you can have multiple people moving on the battle space at the same time. You don't got to wait just for this to get finished up. So we went ahead and let that breathe for quite a while before we started to make an entry on the other side of the structure. So we had to place a charge to get through this door. So after we blew the charge, we had good cross coverage set up. Um, and then we opened up a hornet's nest in here. We started throwing some flashbangs and anything we could to help uh, knock some people out. We brought our guy around up on the top to try and get an angle flank this machine gunner here um, and at that point this uh, right side of the structure had been cleared uh, pretty well so now we're able to start moving our guys interior so here we come inside Holding. we're gonna pie off this with our furthest Holding. man out he's got the best Holding. angle and we're gonna go ahead and get a flashbang into that room. And we'll make entry. Pick up all that work. And then we see this window here. So we go ahead and post a guy in that window. A little serpentine pattern down here. Uh, just take your time. Clear on the angles as you go. Brought that second gun up. We were going to clear out this corner down here, but that door ended up opening up. So we threw some gas in to try and help push him out towards us since we have two guns up here already. They keep flooding out. We go ahead and start to clear from the exterior with our containment guy out here. He comes across quite a few people, so we toss a flash. We push him out and make him into the room while clearing this last space at the last second. Get everyone joined in together. 
And now we just have to clear this deep corner, which we can do from the threshold. And then we've got this little bathroom to clear out. So again, we'll pie it from the outside as far as we can. We'll drop a flash in there before we go, uh, just to make sure it's nice and easy to get the job finished there. So two minutes and 50 seconds, pretty quick to clear out that entire compound. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Maybe you picked up a tip or trick here or there. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys would like to see next. Um, any sort of ideas. I am all ears. Um, even looking into making some custom maps um, so that we can dive deeper into some strategies and tactics uh, that you guys are curious about. So appreciate you guys watching till the end and uh, for viewing the channel in general. So until next time.